to what does Jordan personally think leads to prostate cancer in the standard? Oh my gosh, man, I'd be speculating honestly on that. Um, we really have no way to prove that because again, look at look at every variable in every individual's life. Every single person, it's different. Every every one of us is unique. The way we live our lives is pretty unique, even though we're we're all exposed to the similar stuff, but in different ratios. It's impossible to study that. You know, I mean, that this is where epidemiology and things like that come in handy, but they never prove cause and effect. You just get a, a lot of different speculations on, well, it could be this, it could be that. Let's look at these trends. Let's look at these correlations. Um, I don't know the answer. I will just say what I always tell guys when they ask me, like, what can I do to improve my prostate health or lessen my chances of getting prostate cancer? I'm like the same thing you do to uh, reduce your risk of getting any cancer is be as healthy as you can be. That's it. And that includes looking at the other things in your life that, you know, crappy processed foods, poisons, heavy metals, exposure. I mean, who the list is a mile long. And that may even still not reduce your chances of getting prostate cancer. Maybe something else unforeseen that happens that you don't even know you're being exposed to. Um, but I definitely don't think it's hormonal, obviously. I mean, the majority of guys that get prostate cancer have already have low testosterone, right? Um, but yeah, I, I wish I knew the answer to that one. I don't even fully understand cancer anymore. The more I research and look into that stuff, it's just a very interesting topic. You start looking at the uh, differences and even how, the, how a pathologist will define what they think is cancer. And there's there's massive disagreement, even looking at a slide and you can start going, how many people are getting treated for cancers when they don't actually have cancer? Like, I mean, you don't know just from always looking at a cell line under a microscope that it's truly the C word, you know, so, you know, you got to go with your gut on a lot of that stuff, but I don't know the direct cause.